From bulletproof elk and glass beaches to scary deep sea lizard fish. This is Trending Tuesdays. So let's give a Tuesday shout out to Goku SSB Blue Kayakin. Glad to know you're finding Epic Wildlife Educational. And you know, we learn a lot as well while researching the episode, so it's kind of a learning experience all around. Always glad to have the Dragon Ball Z fans with us. And hey, thanks to everyone out there for the support. Cheers! Number six, old bones. Several sets of dinosaur remains were recently unearthed at a quarry site in Spain. Experts found several massive bones at the location, including vertebrae, two thigh bones, and an upper foreleg bone. The remains are said to belong to a tall herbivore that stood on four legs and would have belonged to the sauropods, the largest animals that ever walked the earth. Experts say this critter was a brachiosaurus and was estimated to have measured more than 65 feet long and over 30 feet tall. The location is near the city of Morella, an area known to have been inhabited by the beast during the early Cretaceous period. Did you know that in addition to the Brachiosaurus, sauropods also include Diplodocus and Brontosaurus? Bulletproof Elk Did you know that once a female elk turns 10 years old, she becomes nearly invulnerable to hunters? That's according to some research conducted in Alberta and British Columbia, Canada. 49 female elk aged between 1 and 18 years old were fitted with GPS radio collars and then tracked for up to 4 years. Over the years, they found that as the elk matured, they learned behaviors that allowed them to avoid hunters with each hunting season. Older elk would conserve the motion to reduce their being detected by humans. The animals would strategically use foliage to camouflage themselves when they were near roads or in areas where they might be more visible. Researchers also noted that the elk could seem to differentiate between hunters who used rifles and those who used bows. Older females used rugged terrain more often during bow hunting season. Because bow hunters stalk the prey more closely, they're at a disadvantage on slopes. By the age of 10, experts say that the female elk have become so adept at avoiding avoiding hunters that they are nearly bulletproof. And if you're wondering why no male elk were monitored, that's because the guys have a shorter lifespan in Alberta of around five years. And that is due to the bolder nature and because bull elk are more highly sought after by hunters. Pretty pollution. Now, when was the last time you heard of a beach that actually needed more pollution? Well, that's the case of the amazing glass beach located at Usuri Bay near Vladivostok. The remarkable beach was initially created by pollution when people dumped their old vodka, beer, and wine bottles at the location. But over the years, the waves and tides of the bay pounded the glass, and that made the dangerous jagged shards rounded and smooth. And now the multicolored glass resembles glittering pebbles that give the beach a unique sparkling appearance. As a result, it has become one of the area's main tourist attractions. But recently, officials have claimed that the glass beach could disappear within a generation. And a couple of factors were cited for that eventuality. Erosion could return the beach to its sand and pebble state, as abrasive forces cause the glass pebbles to disappear, and souvenir hunters regularly take glass from the beach. But a major factor is, ironically, that the beach is not receiving enough pollution. People no longer dump the empty bottles of booze there in such quantity these days. And right now, the glass measures up to six inches deep, but that amount continues to erode on a steady basis. Without more glass to counteract other factors, the kaleidoscopic panorama likely will not last another 20 years. Lost Wonder Found The pink and white terraces were once called the eighth wonder of the world and were famed as New Zealand's greatest tourist attraction. They were the largest silica sinter deposits on Earth and had the appearance of cascading pools that descended into Lake Rotomahana on the North Island of New Zealand. The white terrace was located about a mile from the pink terrace. Both formations were created by geothermal springs at each location. When Mount Terawera erupted in 1886, the terraces were buried under ash and mud and were thought to have been destroyed and lost. Some studies indicated that the terraces may have fallen into the bottom of Lake Rotomahana, but some evidence that was recently uncovered might challenge that theory. It is possible the terraces could still be in reasonable condition and buried on the lake shores. Some long-lost diaries of a German-Austrian geologist who surveyed the area in 1859 offer details about the terraces' location. Now, that's especially significant because the government 
never conducted an official survey of the lake area. And based on those diaries, researchers now think the terraces could be located around 32 feet under the surface of the terrain near the lake. An archaeological survey of the area is in the planning stages. Two heads on porpoise. Researchers say that only 10 cases of conjoined aquatic mammals have ever been observed. The most recent case happened off the coast of the Netherlands. Fishermen there hauled in a porpoise that had one body and two separate fully developed heads. The picture looks like something that could have been staged or digitally manipulated, although we're told this is genuine. But you'd never guess it was a porpoise, never mind one that has two heads. At first glance, it looks kind of like a misshapen seal or even some sort of mutant shark. But experts say it is the world's first confirmed specimen of conjoined twin harbor porpoises. From studying the pictures, marine biologists concluded that the creatures died soon after they were born, and that's based in part on the condition of the cetacean's tail and dorsal fin, which would have stiffened had they been alive. Experts think the number of conjoined cetacean twins in the wild is far greater than the 10 cases so far confirmed, but because the animals are born at sea, they may never be found. Freak fish. Now the lizard fish looks like a mashup of those two species, right? It appears to be half lizard, half fish, and all kinds of scary. One of these critters was found off the Australian coast in Tasmania recently, and the picture shows a beast that looks like it could be a real Tasmanian devil of sorts, even if it does not resemble the carnivorous marsupial or the cartoon character. While this one kind of looks like a small alligator, it would be right at home in some sort of horror movie. Appropriately enough, the deep sea lizardfish is usually found at depths exceeding 8,000 feet. And as you can tell from those countless needle-like teeth, it is a super predator of the ocean floor, taking out other fish and squid with its fearsome jaws. Now, scientists say that due to its deep sea habitat, it can be difficult to find a mate. So some of the animals have evolved as hermaphrodites. That way, they can reproduce whether they encounter a male or female of the species, although it might take some time to warm up to a face like that. This is Trending Tuesdays.